Hi. Um, I just watched Simply Circus. It's a great YouTube channel. You gotta check them out. And uh, why am I doing the challenge for 22? 22 veterans kill themselves because of uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. Why am I doing the videos? Why do I care? Well, because I'm an American, okay? Why, why do the challenge? Because there's so many people out there who really don't understand, who don't know the truth. There are veterans suffering. There are Americans who fought for our freedom who are suffering and we don't do anything for them. To me, that's, that's not acceptable. That's not right. Why do I do this challenge? I grew up with a father who is a very proud American. I grew up in the 70s and 80s and there were certain things that we did. We always did. My dad uh, is Navy. My grandfather was in World War II. My dad has wonderful stories of the Navy. <laughs> he has some scary stories too. He never actually got into war, but he was uh, ready to go, if need be, with um, the Cuban Missile Crisis, my dad tells me all the time, they were ready. They were ready to go. I could get this wrong, but it was the CBs. Um, I can't remember the number of the CB group that he was with, but, but he fixed helicopters, and my dad was on the boat, and he was ready to go, and they were going to be shipped out within the next couple of hours. And President Kennedy laid down the law, and, and that was it. We didn't have to go. If my dad had, I don't know what would have happened. My dad has stories of being in the military. He never went to war, as I said. But he had his own stuff to deal with. And I'm actually, I'm lucky to be here because my dad was beat horribly in Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> Not even in war. I'm lucky to be here because my dad almost died. He was a soldier. He was a Navy man. And he was attacked and beaten. And, um... I'm glad that he's okay. <laughs> Why do I do this challenge? My grandpa. My grampy, he was in World War II. And he died about 10 years ago. He's a good, good man. And he tells stories of being over in um, whatever countries he was in, he did all kinds of different things. One of the stories, though, that I remember, my grandfather was up on a telephone pole hooking up the electric so the airplanes could come in and land while the enemy was bombing him. And... My grandfather survived that. He did it because it was his duty. It was his job. And I thank God 
for my grandfather. Why do I do this challenge? My father, my grandfather, I have uncles, I have great uncles, I have cousins and great cousins, and if you were to trace my family tree as my father did, my family served in the Revolutionary War, and I thank Cornelius Morse for fighting for me, for the freedom of America. Cornelius Morse is in my family, and he is a good American. He was a good American. Why do I do this challenge? Because I think it's important. I think it's important that we, as Americans, reach out to those who are veterans, who support us. I can't go, okay? I can't do it. But they can. They can. I, I brought out two, two items that I want to show you. And I'm going to make a video on each of them for my 22 for 22 challenge. But I want to show you just, just a tip of what these items are and the importance to me. I grew up with a father who loved America, who supported America, who was, who is the all-American good father. He taught us right, and that's why I'm here today, to show you what's right. People, wake up. The first item that I have is, I went to college to be a teacher, and this is Francis Scott Key. If you don't know who he is, please look him up. And I'll make a video for my 22 for 22 challenge on this poster, and I'll explain it to you. Francis Scott Key was on a battleship and he wrote an amazing song and I'll share that with you on a different video. I am almost 50 so when I was in college about 20 years ago that's when I made that and I actually gave the class to my first and second graders. This here this is my 9-11 flag, and I've had it all these years. The handprints that you see are the handprints of toddlers that I taught when I was working as a, a, a preschool teacher. The hearts, on the back of them, there are names of people who died in 9-11. And I'll explain this later in another video. Why do I do what I do? Why am I doing 22 for 22 challenge? Because I love America. I love my veterans. I love the people who served. I love my country. And it hurts me to know that my country, which in reality is me, is letting down those soldiers. When I was in college, um, you could write to any soldier. And I did that. When I was in college, the war that was going on was Desert Storm. And I had a good friend who was in Desert Storm. And I'd write to him, but I'd also write letters to others. 
and sometimes I'd get a letter back and sometimes I wouldn't. But you were allowed to do that. You were allowed to write to anybody. If you wrote a letter and it said any soldier, it was just handed to somebody who didn't get mail. You can't do that anymore. When I was a kid, that's what I did. Because I love America and I love my soldiers. Veterans, you're important to me because without you, we wouldn't be as free as what we are. And I know we're not as free as what we want to be. But without you, we wouldn't have what we have today. And I do appreciate everything you do. I appreciate every soldier. That's why the 22 for 22 challenge is important to me. I will do 22 videos. I don't know what I'm going to do with all the 22 videos, but I will upload one for 22 days because my soldiers, my veterans are important. Thank you. Thank you for what you've done. And I hope, I hope, that I have touched you the way you have touched me. You're important to me. And I want you to fight. Fight to survive and fight for what you need. And I'll be fighting for you as well. I promise you, I will fight for you too. Thanks for watching, and veterans, thank you. Thank you for fighting for my freedom.